Neurology quiz number 84. What is diabetic striatopathy? Diabetic striatopathy is a rare complication of poorly controlled diabetes mellitus characterized by hyperglycemia associated with chorea or balism and characteristic reversible basal ganglia abnormalities on brain CT or MRI. Clinical features, the majority of cases have been described in elderly Asian women with type 2 diabetes mellitus who have poorly controlled diabetes. The mean age of onset is 70 years. Patients present with significant elevation of blood glucose and hemoglobin A1c with absence of ketones. The condition most commonly causes hemichorea and hemibilisimus, although in rare cases the abnormal movements can be bilateral. Less common movement disorders include dystonia, tremor and facial spasm. This video shows hemibilismus in a patient with diabetic striatopathy. Brain imaging, brain CT and MRI findings are characteristic. CT brain shows high attenuation in the contralateral striatum, the caudate nucleus and putamen. MRI brain shows T high T1 signal in the same areas. MRI is the most sensitive brain imaging study. Cases without imaging abnormalities have also been described. In this figure, the figures A, B and C show CT without contrast, which shows hyperdensity in the right caudate and lentiform nucleus and its evolution over a week. Figure D shows resolution of the abnormality after two weeks. This is another CT brain without contrast showing left striatal hyperdensity. Here in the image on the left, the left caudate and lentiform nucleus shows hyperintensity on T1 weighted image and, image and in the image on the right, T1 weighted MRI shows right striatal hyperintensity. Pathogenesis. The cause of this condition is unclear. Decline in estrogen receptors in postmenopausal women causing increased sensitivity of the nigrostriatal dop dopamine receptors could predispose to chorea. Hyperviscosity and depletion of GABA and acetylcholine secondary to metabolic changes have been suggested as possible mechanism, mechanisms. Hypotheses proposed for brain imaging findings include petechial hemorrhages, mineral deposits, myelin destruction, and infarction with astrocytosis. Treatment reducing the blood glucose levels by administration of insulin and adequate hydration is the cornerstone of treatment. Dopamine receptor Antagonists such as haloperidol can be added in patients with severe symptoms. Other medications include atypical antipsychotics like cotiapine, tetrabenazine, sodium valproate and SSRIs like citalopram as well as benzodiazepines. Prognosis. Recovery with treatment has been reported to be good with the resolution of abnormal movements over a period of days to months. Imaging abnormalities usually resolve over a few weeks to months period. Patients with coexistent diabetic retinopathy may have a worse prognosis. Some reports indicate that recovery can be prolonged and incomplete.